Neither Israel nor Lebanon want to go to war, but the two countries seem closer to war than they have been since 2006. That year, Israel battled the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah in a month-long war that ended in a stalemate. Since then, the border between the countries has been relatively quiet, but also very tense. Now things began to change after war erupted between Israel and Hamas militants in the Gaza Strip on October 7th. Hezbollah quickly jumped into the fighting and began firing rockets and missiles into Israel. Israel responded with artillery fire and airstrikes. The two sides have been exchanging fire almost daily since then for nearly four months. For now, the fighting appears to remain under control. Neither side wants to push things too far. But that could quickly change if there's one attack that results in mass casualties. Already, nearly 200 people on the Lebanese side have died, and 18 on the Israeli side also have been killed. In addition, tens of thousands of people on each side of the border have been displaced from their homes, and it's unclear when anyone will be able to return. Israel says it wants a diplomatic solution to this standoff, but it also says that its patience is limited. If things are not resolved in the coming weeks or months, the risk of war will continue to grow.